What's up guys? Bringing you a Halo Reach game. A fun game, I thought. Um, it's decently long. 8 minutes, 40 seconds. And uh, I need something to talk about. Um, so, since I wasn't going to do this in a regular audio video, I figured I'll do it here. But, um, you guys ever have a, a job, maybe you have it now, where you had a... Uh, a manager, just someone who worked above you, who was just a a, dou a douchebag, basically. <laughs> so, uh, I've got I've got a uh, I've got a manager in my in my department. This is I've got a manager, I've got an assistant manager, and I've got uh, three others who come in at you know about six thirty, and that was a terrible shot. Um, and the assistant manager is just a douchebag to me, just to me, you know. And today is just the best example because um, it's like I, I put away batteries a lot and boom, boom, perfect. Um, so he came up to me today after we had a uh, we had a meeting, and you know I was feeling good. You know we were we were, we were just told about Black Friday and now we can't have the day off at all. And from what we've been told, Black Friday Black Friday is crazy for Menards, and that's just not fun. And uh, like we won't even be stocking. You know, I, he's like, he's like, yeah, you guys all be either cashiers or you'll be on the floor. And I'm like, that sounds like shit. <laughs> um, so we had just gotten out of that, and you know, I see my assistant manager, and he he walks up to me. He's like, he's like, hey, did you did you stock the batteries yet? Or you know, last time or yesterday? I don't remember what he said. And I think I'm, oh, I do, I do hit him nice. Um, and I'm like, I was, I don't, I didn't remember. I was like, I don't know. He's like, don't lie to me. And he's, just you know, being a dick right off the bat. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. Saturday probably. You know, I, I really don't remember. You know, uh, this is fail. I really don't remember every day of what I do. And they, uh, well, look at how they have negative one. We were like, what the hell? Um, yeah, I truly don't remember what I do every day. So, um, boom. so I was just like, sure, yeah, I probably did. And he got all pissy at me because apparently someone had put batteries in the wrong spot, and um, and so he, you know he was talking about how it's like you know so guests when guests got you know batteries from that spot we had to sell it to them at that price. And one even if I did, which I didn't, I did not do this. Even if I did put them in the wrong spot, it's not like I put it in a spot where a thirty dollar battery thing cost three dollars, you know. If anything, it's a the, the the price would have been a little bit off at best. But he's just getting pissy at me, and my thought was, and I kept telling him over and over, it wasn't me. I I'm like when I put batteries away, I put them in the right fucking spot. I'm good at my job. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Not to mention, uh, if it was Saturday, I think Saturday might have been the day that I had a lot of batteries. I think it was. I had a lot of like little boxes and shit. And um, there was one time, there was a spot where I put them in the wrong spot because there were triple A's, no, there were, uh, there were double A's in one area and it was full, and then there were two double A's next to it, you know, in the two rows next to it. But what happened was that was actually a triple A spot, and somebody just put a double A in each of them. So I thought they were double A's, and I ended up putting my whole box there until I read the label below it or above it, I don't remember, and it said triple A, and I was like, shit. And I took them all out. This this thing that was I, I fucking realized my mistake, and I I'll spend as much time as I have to making sure I put them in the right spot. So me getting bitched at because someone else put them there, or hey, maybe a fucking guest put it there. Did anyone fucking think of that? And Juggle got a nice headshot there. He was, he was freaking out about because he turned around and no scoped the guy. But um, but anyway, so I found out who actually did rat me out for you know stalking, and I'm like it's bullshit. I, I know how to fucking put shit away. You know, I, again, I'm not bad at my job. I know how to fucking do it. So, when I have my assistant fucking manager, and he just doesn't like me in general. Anytime he just tells me to do something, it's in a douchebaggy way. <laughs> it's just, it's ridiculous. And so I'm sitting there telling him repeatedly, I didn't do it, it wasn't me. I put batteries in the right fucking spot. I didn't use those exact words. I'm going to next time, though. <laughs> And he just kept telling me, oh, well, you know, some, you know, you, it's like everyone, or he said that he's got two people telling him, and that was a bullshit lie right there. He did not have two people telling him, he had one per, I, 
from what I know, from what my friend told me, this is terrible. <laughs> but from what my friend told me, um, basically he asked another one of my coworkers who ratted me out. I guess he asked her um, if she knew who put the batteries away, and she said I did. So I guess he assumes that mm, since there are some batteries in the wrong spot, I must have fucking did it. I'm like, go fuck yourself, seriously. I'm on the verge of just going to uh, the store manager and be like, hey, my assistant manager is being a dick to me. He, you know, if something's in the wrong spot, he assumes it's instantly me, and he bitches me out when it's not fucking me. You know, it gets ridiculous. It really does. Um, the other instance it was even more annoying when uh, we deal with milk as well, and we we had just this was like a like a week and a half or two weeks ago. We had just gotten t a huge cart of milk, um, and it's all kinds of milk and whatnot. And here's the funny thing: so a guy from receiving brings it in, and I got like what two and a half minutes left, I can do this. A guy from receiving brings it in for us, and uh, my friend is, my friend is the one that's helping, it. or no, there's two carts, actually. My friend helped him push, or my friend helped push the other one, and, uh, and so, my friend's sitting there talking with the guy from receiving, while he's got the, you know, fridge open, he's slowly putting stuff in, and hell, he even stopped for, uh, like, ten seconds to just talk with the guy about his old job, and, uh, we both, we both had full carts when we did this, both had full carts, and I just I, I put mine in the next aisle because he put his one, you know, he put his cart in one aisle to go and do the milk. I put mine in the other, and uh, I just I had just got in the cart when my assistant manager again comes up. He's like, "Hey, man, get back to your cart. He can handle that himself." And I'm like, "There are two fucking carts full of milk, and it's best if we have two people do it because the milk is a top priority. You know, we gotta have it there." I thought it's gonna die here. It's like we gotta have the milk in there so that you know it doesn't get fucking warm. And big mistake. Don't let me get the health. Um, but he just got pissy at me, and even my friend came over later on, and uh, or no, he didn't. My friend didn't know what uh, our system manager said to me. He's like, "What did he tell you?" And, or "What did he say to you?" And I'm like, "Oh, he told me to get back to my cart." He's like, "Really? Why?" It's like I could have used your help. It would have been easier, or it would have been faster to if we had two people on it, because then we could have. Uh, you know, gotten away quicker, and it's milk, it needs to be put away quick. And I'm like, I know, whatever, he's a dick to me. You know, that's how it fucking works. So, I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And it's like, I, I kind of want to go to our, our, the store manager and tell him, like, hey, this is a manager's being a dick to me, I'm hoping you can put a stop to it. I really don't know what his problem with me is. I don't. Maybe it's because my dad works there, too, and he's a manager, I don't know. But he's just a douche to me, and it's, it's getting fucking ridiculous. Um... Especially, like, you know, the main point of this is that this ruins my fucking day. You know, it was going good. We had a we had a meeting. We got out of the meeting at like 6:30, a little after, and it was just it's just me and my friend on Monday. And like we have plenty of stuff to stock, so we have our whole day ahead of us, easy. And then sis manager comes up, fucks up my entire day. He makes the day terrible. I ha I avoided him all day because I can't fucking look at him when he's all pissy at me. Like when he fucking rages at me, I get pissed. But whatever. Let me know if you got if you've had a boss like that or have one now. So I leave you with perfection.